Taylor Hawks here uh, with Woodstitch. So today I wanted to talk about um, application programming interfaces or APIs. Um, I wanted to clear up a lot of the confusion. There's lots of information on the web out there, but I feel like a lot of the times it's abstract and it's difficult to digest um, and sometimes it's just plain wrong. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what an API is and kind of um, what it started out to mean originally and what it has evolved to. Because I think that is a big part of how the confusion uh, has come about. So what an API is, is really just the way in which a program can be communicated with or worked with by another program. I'll say that again. A way in which a program can be communicated with or worked with, aka interfaced with, by another program. Um, so that, that is kind of the, the general idea of what an API, API is today and that's going to be how people are using it um, usually when they're using it in various contexts. So looking at how an application programming interface or API kind of got its name and evolved into what it is today, you, we need to look at what is a Windows, Windows operating system, Windows OS. So not too long ago, the Windows OS came out. And this was kind of before the, the web had become what it is today. So we had the most programmers were either working on the Windows operating system, which is known as system programming, or they're working on developing kind of various applications, what might, might look like a calculator or a, or a game, um, like Minesweeper, or something like Microsoft Word. But these are all kind of higher level applications that are being developed. And the way that these applications were developed was by tapping into what Windows offered as the Windows API. And what the Windows API is, is just a set of little programs that can be used by applications. And what I mean by that, by little programs, there's just lots of, yeah, you know, just, just that really. So a Windows OS might offer a little program that can say, save. Um, uh, so what that what the save program does is save a file. So now the when you need to save a file in Microsoft Word, Microsoft Word just calls this little save program, and so that's part of their API. Um, another another little program might be delete, so we can now delete a file. Um, but so they have these little programs that essentially other application programs can use, and this this kind of interface or documentation is known as the API. What it really is, is a manual for, for programmers to work on top of the Windows operating system. Um, so it, it has documented all of that information. So that is kind of where the term API, or application programming interface, comes from. Now, moving forward to today, most of what we have, or a lot of what we have, are developers who are developing kind of on the web or building websites like Facebook or Twitter, um, Spotify, these kind of big web applications um, or websites. But we've kind of kept this name API even though we're not working in the specific context of application and system programming. We're really working in the context of everything, building websites, building applications, building iPhone apps, um, working with databases, whatever we're doing, we're, we still kind of refer to the, the documentation around the little programs that another program can access as an API. So to give you an example, Facebook, the big evil Facebook by Mark Zuckerberg, has lots of little programs that, that make up the, the larger program Facebook. A little program might look like a Pope program or a like program or a, uh, a post program, an upload program. So we have all these little programs that Facebook um, that Facebook has that makes up Facebook. So what they decide to do is, well why not open up our our little programs to the world so that other people can integrate their their websites and their software into our software 
and uh, we can kind of expand our business that way. So that's exactly what they do. So they go and document all this information, and they say, all right, other people, here's other people. You can now, we'll now let you use our system and poke a person, or use your system to like a person, or post on somebody's wall. So basically what they're doing is they're opening up their little programs, and generally what they do is they kind of control how people are able to access their little programs in a pretty pretty specific manner. So they'll say you can you can poke people 300 times a day or something. So they they very much control how people are working with their with their software. But that is really what I think people refer to today as APIs for the most part. Um, they're generally talking about specific specifically web APIs or also web services. Um, so really all that is is just um, is just these little programs and the manner in which they can be accessed by an outside program. That makes up our API or web service. Um, so it's really as simple as that.